thing that I would say is if you want to get ahead as a black American, stop allowing the media to allow you to see yourself as a black American. Start seeing yourself as an American, right? Just an American full stop. <laughs> the second thing that I would say is that... What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back again with a new video, guys. Today, we're going to check it out. Candace Owens on how to thrive as a black American. Okay. I would love to watch this video. <laughs> it's a really mean a lot. So guys, let's get right into it. Um, I, my question for you is, well, I wanted to say, my name is Khalif, um, and I agree with your comments about a lot of the struggles that black Americans do face in the country is due to the breakdown of the black family following the passing of the Civil Rights Act um, and the promotion of welfare, specifically toward black mothers and incentivizing them to not have their fathers in the home. I would say to you is, as a black American yourself, who has made a platform um, despite the country um, and the actions in our past and what's currently going on, what would you say is, well, one, I would know how do you feel like you were able to do so, but then also what would be your recommendation to me, another black American or any other one, to reverse the effects of the breakdown of the black family? Great question. So I think a couple of things that worked in my favor, I'm my granddaddy's girl. For better or worse, I mean, my granddad was stubborn as the day was long. I am stubborn. <laughs> like I just saying to her, like I just, I've always been this way. Even when I was a liberal, even when I had the wrong ideas, I just demanded the right to be myself, right? I demanded the right to be myself and not be punished for being myself, right? Uh, least of all, if I wasn't doing anything that was wrong, and that's kind of what's happened. And so, the first thing that I would say is, if you want to get ahead as a Black American, stop allowing the media to allow you to see yourself as a black American. Start seeing yourself as an American, right? Just Thank an you. American full stop. Thank you. The second thing that I would say is that it, when, when you start doing that, um, the relationships that you are able to build, because part of them corroding everybody's mind is to make them perceive other people as the enemy. It destroys relationships, right? And True. relationships that you are able to build, which is very much what I did in my life um, just by refusing the narrative it became a superpower it really it really became a superpower i was surrounded with friends that uh inspired me people that wanted to work hard and didn't want to have any of the political correctness nonsense in the middle like what can we build how can we build the world is at your fingertips if you are a black american breathing today if you're an american breathing today like i said you are the, the most privileged that has ever lived on the face of the planet that's the truth um, and as soon as you remove the barriers that have been put up in your own minds you'll be able to see it for the first time Thank you so much. True. Um, that is as simple as that. You said if you want to fight war, it's best to fight the war inside your force. Because you said it's not about racism. It's it's deep down. It's really deep down. Especially when people tell you stuff about TV too, when you hear some news and you hear people around you. You understand? They will tell you some things that will fit in your head and stuff. You start seeing the... Um, other race, us, these guys are wicked. These guys are, are terrible. Especially when they think about history of slavery or black people being enslaved and enslaved and stuff, being moved from Africa to European countries. You'd be like, these guys are wicked. How dare they come and do such to black people and stuff? You'll be feeling that hatred and anger. But the funny thing is, when you get rid of such narrative, you open a broad exposure, a broad door for yourself to know more because you tend on building relationship with other races. You tend on being free your own self, not having any guilt or anger in you. That makes you more... Whenever you're free inside, blessings come outside. <laughs> so it's really, really good not to have that hatred or anger or bitterness towards another race because of history or what history happened. We all know what happened. We all know how it all happened. But if you are to get away with that narrative of anger, of hatred, of what's happened, also, we, all, we know what is also happening now. The racism of it is still happening. It's still occurring. It's not just the past, it's still occurring now. We all know that. But if you are to get rid of that pain and anger and look forward to the brighter picture, you tend on becoming much better yourself and also making people around you much better. So it's, it's to get rid of that narrative, that ideology, that mindset that is going to help you move forward. Try as a black American. It's as simple as that. Can always just spill it out. 
and it's as simple as that. And then once you try it, it works. It's definitely going to work. Uh, comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, in my bed. I got scales.